Hi there again everybody, today is day 27. We're going to take a look at a few links, a couple new links that I've put on your Schoology page, but we're going to try to get right to our music and get through um, as much stuff as we can here today. Uh, today is Web Rhythm Wednesday, so we're going to be focusing on rhythms. Uh, next, actually this week we have a strange schedule. We have banned two days in a row now. So our big risk here is that some people will forget their instruments tomorrow. So if you do bring your instrument home and you plan on bringing it home today, make sure you bring it back tomorrow. If that's your plan, make a note of it right now uh, in your calendar. Next week we have then, uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we'll go back to um, band on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We've been through this before, uh, but this is the concert that we have coming up. First hour and sixth hour, you play at 6 p.m. on December 16th. Second hour and fourth hour, you play at 7 p.m. And fifth hour, you play on the same night at 8 o'clock p.m. All of us need to get there 45 minutes before the concert starts so that we can start warming up 30 minutes ahead of time. Concert attire, this is a recommendation. Um, I wanted to make sure everybody's aware that uh, that previous video that I went through showing what's acceptable and what's not um, through all of these. I'll go through it again, but they're, again, they're recommendations. You just need to do the best you can. Obviously, if, uh, if it doesn't work out, just try to look as nice as you can and wear as much all black or dark char charcoal or dark gray as possible so that we all blend in. This would be nice. This has too many other colors and accents. This would work. Um, this is too short for being on stage and has um, the shoulders not covered. Obviously we're going for something formal. That might be a little bit too too much, but certainly that's not enough. Um, dress pants would look great, but definitely we're trying to stay away from that yoga look because it's not formal. For guys, you can see this list here of recommendations, um, but definitely we want to stay away from jeans, sweatpants, T-shirts, tennis shoes, flip-flops, or casual or sporty clothes. So if you're an athlete and all you have is athletic clothes, this might be tricky for you. Um, this is a good look. Another good look, except for the jeans. Another good look. You could go with a tie if you want. Nice shoes, not athletic shoes. This would be a good look if you tucked it in. And definitely not a T-shirt. We're going to go through some more, more of these things later, but how to take a bow and all sorts of things. The targets for today, we're still using the words enharmonic, articulation, staccato, tenuto, and legato. Quick tip number 18, be ready to launch off your chair or stand up in your chair. These are a couple of good ways to think about how you, how you use your muscles as you sit. Quick tip. Band-Aid project, I am going to put those in the grade book. Uh, in the next day or so, the quarter one summary, or quarter one subtotal, sorry. So if you haven't entered those, now would be a good time, right now. Here's a cool quote. I wrote this. In grade school, we do it for you. We show you how to do it. At Oak Point, or elementary school, um, we help you do it by yourself. At CMS, we help you, but we want you to ask for help. I don't know if you've noticed that, but a lot of the teachers have... I've uh, tried to encourage you to ask them for help and talk to them. At the high school, they'll help you if you explain why you can't do it on your own because you're supposed to be resourceful. In college, we won't help you. You can help yourself. And in life, your job is to help others. And that's just a little perspective. As you grow up, um, by the end, of the, at the end of your life, you should be helping other people. Here's a joke of the day. It says, I'm going to be flat. Keep your eye on the prize here. We're trying to seize the day and do our, do our best to be unified, to be artistic, to work towards excellence, and to leave behind a legacy so that next year can be better than this year because of what you did. Just wanted to throw this up here for trumpets. Make sure we're looking at that pinky and curving our fingers. Here's a picture of the day. A British euphonium, a baritone, and an American euphonium. Interesting. Three different styles. And of course, here's the back to the agenda. All right, let's get it started. 